If you guys have Windows 10 installed and you're trying to upgrade to Windows 11, but get that really annoying message where it tells you that your computer does not meet the minimum requirements to upgrade to Windows 11, we are going to go over how to actually bypass that and get Windows 11 installed on your computer. If you go over to the start menu, go into your settings and hit update and security. Under Windows update, you'll see something like this message here. And today we are going over how we can get rid of it. One thing to keep in mind is we want to make sure that we're currently on Windows 10. So to do that, we can go over to the system settings, scroll down to where it says about. And here you will see where your Windows edition is. For me, I have Windows 10 Pro. You might have different versions of Windows 10, but this will apply to all of them. All right, now we got that information. Go ahead into your start menu and type in reg edit. And you will see this here called the registry editor. Now what this is, is basically going into your system settings and being able to change nearly anything. So be careful what you put here. We will only be putting in a few keys and make sure you don't do anything else because it could end up breaking something. I'm going to expand this really quick for you guys and show you which keys we will be changing. So you're going to go to H key local machine here hit the drop down, go down to system. And then go down to where it says setup. Now here in the setup directory, we will want to create a new key value by right clicking and heading over to key. And the key name we are going to create is going to be lab config. Inside lab config, make sure you click on it. Now we're gonna right click, hit new, and we're gonna use the DWORD 32-bit value. Here we are going to create three different values. The first one is going to be bypass TPM check. The second one we are going to do bypass RAM check. And the last one we will be doing bypass um, Secure boot check. And these are our three values and we're going to change each of these values to one. Now, after we have those three registry entries, we're just going to go over to our power settings and restart our computer. So now that we have restarted our computer, we can go to the PC health check application that should already be part of windows and we can hit check now and this is just going to recheck if your computer is capable of doing windows uh, 11 upgrades and if you go into your settings still you might have this error about that your pc is not um, does not meet the requirements still so head over to this app hit check now and you'll notice right here that we're all good to go now the next stage from here is if you go back into your settings, um, let me just show you guys really quick. And it's the update and security windows update. And this still shows, do not worry. We are going to install the application to force windows 11 to get installed. To do that, we are going to go into an internet browser inside of your internet browser. We'll just type in this media creation tool for windows 11 and hit that first link and that should take you where you need to go. We are going to be installing something called the Windows 11 Assistant. You'll see here, you can hit download on Windows 11 installation assistant. Don't use the installation media or the ISO file. Those are for two different other scenarios. I have, I've already downloaded this myself, so I'm going to skip that step and show you what it looks like after the installation. So over here in my downloads folder, you'll see this installation assistant. You should have something very similar. Go ahead and launch that and hit accept. And that's pretty much it. Just go through the download steps and hit next, next, continue. It may take um, 30 minutes to an hour possibly to upgrade. So make sure you have some time there, but that's it for the video guys. If you like the video and it's helped you, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.